Hi guys, this is Kidlink77 and welcome back. Let's play Dragon Quest VIII. In the last episode, we spoke to Emma the Maid, who asked us to uh, help us out with something. We wanted to, uh, she wants us to grant the wish uh, for uh, King Pavan, which is to uh, see his uh, lovely uh, wife, Sasha. Um, you know, he's been in grieving for about two years, and it's really affecting the town, so they want to try to, you know, help him out a bit. In this episode, you know, we were told last episode to go find her grandmother, Emma's grandmother, who happens to be in that house over there, you can see in the distance. But, before we do that, I want to get some treasure. Yeah, there are a couple more chests we can get in this area that I haven't quite gotten yet. These chests are pretty far out of the way. Oh, I got a new enemy. <laughs> oh, shoot, sure, that's off, I guess. Yeah, so it's nighttime, so these guys are here. These are night sneakers, and uh, they're not too bad, but they are pretty, um, they can... Well, actually, why am I uh, doing that? I have a better boomerang here, or a boomerang to take care of all of them. Uh, these guys uh, have pretty good agility, so they're pretty fast, and they can avoid uh, stuff pretty well, too. Uh, so let's see, we'll do that, that. I don't think I've ever shown Angelo's bow off. Maybe I have, I just don't remember. It was in passing, but no, I haven't yet. Yeah, this is his bow, and he does a fair amount of damage. Uh, so pretty good. Uh, and yeah, these guys, a little more, uh, challenging than the other guys that we've seen. Like, like, slippers or something? I forget their names. <laughs> uh, they're like sneakers, I think, in general. But, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and attack them all here. And there you go, cool. Alright, so, uh, it is nighttime, so, uh... The enemies will get here a little more challenging. Uh, we have some that we're going to go towards that are uh, pretty dangerous. We'll get into who those are in a moment. Now, uh, before uh, we take off completely, I want to show you on the map that we you see this like this uh, the mountain that has like a like shaped as a sea like a sea with uh, the forest inside of it. We're going to be going around that mountain, and it's a long trek, so yeah, be uh, be ready for this. Be wary, because, like I say, the enemies, they get kind of nasty. So we're gonna go this way here, and, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, continue on. I haven't shown this one off, because, like I say, it takes quite a while to, uh, to get there. We have three new enemies, and thank goodness they didn't see us. So we have, uh, Chimeras, Fat Bats, and Demons. Now, uh, the Demons, um, they, normally they're not super strong, but, um, they have an ability that can be kind of scary. We'll go over those in a moment. Chimeras, um, they can shoot fire, and they can do some massive damage. So if you get, like, a swarm of them, and they all shoot fire, you're probably dead. So, yeah, make sure they don't do that. Fat bats, they can hit pretty hard, but they're nothing too special. So, yeah. All right, anyone else do that. We'll have Yengis do this. We'll have Angela do that. And Jessica will do that, because Boomerang should take care of them. And they have pretty good physical attacks, too. These guys, not so much on the physical attacks, but, like I say, they may use an ability that could be pretty bad. Well, we killed one of them, which is good. Uh, and that will kill that one. Let's see. Oh, nope. Uh, if, if, the, uh, if they show off the ability, you know, if they do it, I'll show it to you. Um, but they have the ability to, like, roll. They take off their mask. And they'll roll their eyes. They have multiple eyes. They'll roll them like a dice. Depending on the number of die or eyes that appear, it determines uh, the amount of damage they can do for uh, an attack. Um, they could do up to 60 damage, which is not good. Jessica could die from that, which, you know, again, is pretty bad. So, yeah. All right, let's make our way over this way. And I'll show you where we are on the map here real fast. We're past this area, which is good. Uh, now, you see that chest over there? Uh, you cannot open that right now. We don't um, have the ability to do so, so we'll be coming back to that chest a little later. But the one we... Ooh, level up. Awesome. So, Angelo's level 14, and I think my phone keeps going off. <laughs> I got a new phone, so yeah, it's uh, pretty interesting. Uh, anyway, so uh, we want a new spell for Angelo. Level 14, he gets, uh, he gets Kabuff. Uh, which is, um, you know, the buff spell, but it, you know, buffs everybody up, uh, their defense, which is pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and put all his points into bows again, and, uh, he learns a basic archery technique, so he gets Sandman's Arrow, and we'll show that off in a moment. Uh, now, anyway, um, these guys got into a battle with three Chimeras, and, um, they all attacked eight, and then second turn, last one, decided to use a Fire Breath, which, uh, almost killed eight there, so, yeah, like I say, don't take this area lightly, because... It can get very rough. I didn't want to heal the Angus again, but it's whatever. All right, and okay, that should be fine. 
So yeah, be wary of this area because it's not super fun. So let's make our way over here this way. The chest that we're hoping to get is uh, still a ways away. They put this chest out of, like, just super far out of the way. I don't know why, but it's, you know, it's uh, your reward for exploring the area. Now in that battle, we got into a fight with five of the bat, uh, the fat bats, and uh, yeah, they uh, they beat up Angela pretty good. Now they have the ability to drop uh, a random item called the Wing of Bat, and it would be nice if I get one because we're going to be using it for something later on in the Alchemy Pot. So hopefully we'll find one. If not, you know we're going to probably find one at some point. Ooh, we get a new level! Yay! That was with more fat. Bats. They can put you to sleep too, by the way, so be careful. Anyway, 8 is now level 16. HP up by 11. Pretty good. Uh, yeah, pretty good stats all around. The 6 skill points, I like it. So we're going to go ahead and put all of our skill points into... Uh, I guess we'll do swords again. Uh, let's see. And... Alright, cool. Okay, now let's see. Go ahead and heal everyone up. Like I say, I'm trying to keep everyone's HP up uh, to max because, like I say, the enemy's not so friendly. So yeah, the fat bats can also put you to sleep. Um... They have a strong attack and a weak attack. Their weak attack is they bite you. Their strong attack is they, um, they rub their butt in your face. <laughs> I kid you not. Bat booty in the face. Yeah. All right, let me go ahead and heal up Jessica after that. Uh, we do have a uh, random uh, creature over here. Let's go and take him out, too. Yeah, we're getting a lot done over here. We have the sharpshooter. And, uh, yeah, this guy's not really much to worry about. We'll go ahead and actually, let me show off uh, his Sandman's uh, arrow. Uh, it could put a single enemy, uh, let's see, it's, yeah, to sleep, so we're gonna do that. And you will use Twin Dragon Lash. Let's see. Uh, you're gonna hit Jessica, yay. Pretty nasty damage, but that's nothing we can't handle. Alright, let's see, so Twin Dragon, we'll do that. Awesome, 41 damage, not bad. Alright, and let's see. Eh, nothing, nope. It's a pretty, I think it's weaker than a regular attack, so in that case, I just wanted to see if it worked, but I didn't, wasn't entirely sure. Not something that we're gonna use very often, but it's there, I guess. Alright, so 17 gold coins and a monster coin. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Now, like I say, I want to keep uh, Jessica's um, HP up to max because, yeah, she could die uh, from a demon. So be wary. Alright, let's make our way over here this way. Like I say, it's a pretty long trek for this treasure chest that's right over here. I'm probably going to get into a monster encounter before I get there, sadly. Uh, let's see. Actually, do I want to... Is it? Yeah, it's right. It's this way. I'm making... Making sure that, uh, it's not... Let's see, am I... Alright, yeah, we're good. Whew, I was like, did I mess up? Did I have to go all the way back around? No, we're fine. Now, this will lead out over here. So, we got that chest, I think, last episode? Or the episode before, but yeah. So, this is... Thanks, game. I guess that helps in the end, but thanks. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just got on the side there. So, HP up by 5 for Jessica. MP up by 7, pretty good. Decent stats there. 6 skill points, I like it. Now, I think with this level up, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, all right, she begins a whip one, or wonder whipper. Her attack increases by 15, awesome. Yeah, so she's pretty strong right now. now let's get this chest we've been working at for a good uh, good while. I've been recording for almost uh, 13 minutes, and yeah, I spent all that time getting one chest, awesome. Now, I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna zoom back to the Riverside Chapel. Um, I'm not gonna heal there because I don't need to, per se, but we're not quite gonna go to the house, you know, that, you know, Emma's grandmother lives in just yet because we have one more stop we need to make. So, let's see, first off, let's go ahead, I wanna heal everyone up to, uh, to max. <laughs> uh, these guys are looking pretty dead. Uh, Jessica, anyway. Uh, we still haven't used yeah, Angel for healing yet, but, you know, I'll come soon. And uh, Hero, you know, ate about, uh, about out of stuff. Now, let's see, I wanna make sure I'm on the right part of the map thing. Uh, am I? We need to cross the bridge, I believe we need to cross the bridge? What am I doing? Uh, let's, yeah, I do, okay, okay. So, wait a minute, am I facing the right way? What's going on? We, uh, we, we would seem to be going towards the house, but I wanna go this way first, because we can get another treasure chest down here. Nice little walk, but, yeah, not, not too far. The enemies aren't as dangerous as they were just a moment ago either, so. Yeah, don't worry about it. So, let's uh, get us a treasure, the last treasure. The uh, Seed of Agility. One could argue it probably wasn't really worth that entire trip, but I want to make sure, you know, you guys know where everything is. And Seeds of Agilities are, you know, they're useful. Uh, and like I say, definitely hold on to your seeds until you're, um, until you're done making stuff with your Alchemy Pot. Just because, you know, seeds are very hard to come by. They're few and far between. I'm going the right way for this. 
Yes, yes, I am. Okay. Um, yeah, I am. Yeah, so I am going the right way. But anyway, hold on to your seeds. Um, we will use them, but we want to keep hold of them for other stuff, pretty much. The stat boosts aren't, like, huge that you get from the seeds, but, uh, again, they are hard to come by, you know, later on when you really need them. So, yeah, definitely keep them around. Now, uh, let's come on over here. We have this chest over here. <coughs> Excuse me. And here we get another seed of life, so two seeds that are, you know, pretty good. Seed of life is, I think, worth it, but other one, nah, it's not so much. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to warp back to the, um, the church, and then I'm going to meet you guys at the, uh, you know, the old lady's house. Uh, so, yeah, I will be right back. Alright, so we've made it back to, uh, Emma's grandmother's house. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and talk to her now. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Yes, that's right, Emma's my granddaughter. Yeah, she has sent us over here to uh, get some information. I'm getting a bit on now, you see, so I know all the old Escantha folk tales. Let's see, an old story about making wishes come true. That must be the story of that strange hill upstream up here. Oh. Said that if you go there on the night of the full moon and wait quietly all night, a door to another world will open. It's probably just a silly old fool or a fairy tale, though. Uh, I'm afraid I can't tell you whether it's true or not. It gets so cold and spooky up there, you see. I've never known anyone willing to stay the whole night to find out. Oh. Well, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and take a look and uh, see what's up with that. And, um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get on that right now. So I have found out that I have an addiction to Crystal Pepsi. Yeah, I, uh, I've, one day I found one at the, uh, um, like, uh, I found some at the, uh, at a gas station. I'm like, oh man, that's awesome, let's try it. And so I bought a few of them, and I kept one to hold for like three months. I was like, yeah, they're not gonna make any more of these, I don't think, anymore, so we'll hold on to this one for a while and see. Then they started coming out with more of them, and I was like, oh man, this is bad. So, uh, yeah, now I drink an occasional Crystal Pepsi, like once or twice a week. Maybe a little more, but uh, it's so good. I love Crystal Pepsi. What was I saying? I, I just I just think Crystal Pepsi are good. I think it's like the novelty about it. But anyway, uh, there are new enemies on this uh, beach area, so do be wary. You can also find metal slimes, you know, the little ones over here too. And hopefully I will find one and we can kill one. Again, I find them in practice, but when I'm actually LPing it, I can, I can never find them. So yeah, hopefully we will. We'll see though. But, uh, yeah, that was just, like, another kink help. You can find, uh, some other guys here, though, too. There is, uh, two more enemies I want to show off. One of them you can only find at night, I think, in the, like, in the Ascantha Woods area, where we were to get that other chest by the sea. Uh, and the other one is, um, I don't know if you can find them earlier. But, you know, it's whatever. Man, like I say, not enough Crystal Pepsi! I'm drinking one right now. What am I doing? Ugh, whatever. All right. I'm hoping, again, that we can really get a metal slime. Come on, appear for me. We're new enemies. Let's go. Oh my, come on. Let me even run around over here. Yeah, there you go. We get kissers. All right, so these guys, they can put you to sleep with uh, with sweet breath, so be careful. And I think they can also put you to sleep with the regular attack, so, again, be wary of, uh, of that stuff, too. So anyway, let's go ahead and take them all out, these guys. I'm not, you know, again, nothing too special about them. And, yeah, Jessica and Angela take more damage than everyone else, but still, it comes with the territory. They're, you know, basically mages, so yeah. <laughs> we haven't used Angelo's um, uh, magic abilities yet, which I sh probably should do at some point. They're not super great right now, but, you know, they uh, they will get better at some point. All right, so go all out with this guy, and Beth, yeah, all right, awesome. Cool beans. So, anything good? No, sadly not. And no metal slimes. Aw. Hopefully I'll find one when I'm making my way back. So yeah. Alright, let's make our way over here. Uh, I, it shows me at recording for 25 minutes, but I don't think that's entirely true. Uh, because, um, yeah, we've, uh, we've, uh, we've been doing a lot of backtracking. So, yeah, we'll see. Now let's make our way over here. This is a little cave. You'll find a plethora of, like, the normal enemies, you know, like, bats and stuff in here. But, uh, yeah, so anyway, there's a fork in the road that we just went down, and, uh, over here, we can find a treasure! And in the treasure, we should get... Yeah, we get a wizard staff. Now, uh, this thing, not super useful right now. I think I've shown it in, like, the shops that you can find. I think you can get one in a, in a sconf, I believe it is? Um, but it's not gonna be useful for the time being. You'll see, uh, how we put that wither staff to use, you know, a little bit later on. But anyway, let's make our way over here this way. 
and uh, continue on in our cave. Now there should be, if I, I'm not mistaken, yeah, I don't think there's anything over here, but if we go this way, yeah, there it is, I see a set of stairs, so let's make our way up here. Ooh, level up, awesome, we had like six enemies in that battle. <laughs> Oh dear. Anyway, uh, who's that? Yangus, I think? Yeah, I think, yeah, Yangus. Awesome. Good, uh, chunk of HP there. That's pretty good. Yeah, his skill points start to go down a little bit. They fluctuate up and down. Like, he starts pretty high, then he goes really high, then he starts getting lower, and then he goes back up high, so... <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird, but anyway. Um, let's do two and axes, and we have to do the rest, and... <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a crystal Pepsi. Not as bad as crystal meth, but still. <laughs> oh. Alright, anyway, let's make our way up here. Now, this will lead us out over to here. Yay! Uh, let's see, did we take any beating in that one? Ah, got really kind of do that. There you go. Now, um, now, uh, if I wasn't clear, the enemies in there, uh, in the cave, you can find, like, um, you can find, like, mummy boys and, um, uh, like, those ghouls and stuff like that. Nothing too scary, but still, they, uh, they have a lot of HP, so they're not as fun to kill. Alright, anyway, let's make our way over here, and yeah, let's uh, make our way up to this cave. Man, I keep forgetting that Jessica has the uh, the bang spell. I have to use that more often, because it's pretty useful, in this, especially this area where you have to fight five tree faces, and like they're all in three different groups, so yeah. Like that one. <laughs> uh, there was another group of six, yeah. Well, here we get a map of Wisher's Peak, so that's uh, definitely worth going for. Uh, let's see, now, Yang has got actually poison in that, in that batch of stuff. So I'll uh, go ahead and clear it up for him. Awesome. Now, um, tree faces, uh, at this point of the game, can be kind of dangerous. They hit pretty hard, and they also have the ability to get rid of your magic. I think I showed that off at some point, but, you know, here when there's like five or six of them, yeah, if they gang up on one end or on one character and they happen to hit everything, you know, with uh, with their sap spell pretty much, and that's not good. You lose all your MP, so yeah. Alright, anyway, let's make our way up here, and there's a well, a random well over here. Ooh, there's a treasure over there. Let's uh, come on over here this way. See if we can get that treasure, too, because, hey, why not? Ooh, level up from that one. Yay! Alright, Angel's level 15. Two level ups in uh, one episode. Wow. Yeah, we've gotten to a lot of fights. <laughs> Most of it's cut out, but still. Alright, so anyway, uh, learn a new spell. We learn mid heal, which is like for the price of, I think, 4 MP, you get 75, 70, 75 HP back. So it's pretty good. And 4 skill points, not bad. So go ahead and put them all into bows again. And there you go. Alright, so let's make our way over here. Now, I want to show off the uh, diamond or the demon's uh, ability with the dice roll, but. Um, you know, it's always in like a group, and they always do it whenever I'm not, you know, expecting a new monster, or when it's like an old monster, so. Um, I got a new enemy here, so we're going to show this off. This is the Bodkin Bowyer. Nothing too special about these, and the Fat Bats, of course. I hope that they showed off their booty attack, because uh, bad booty is always amazing. Alright, let's see. Angelo uh, will do... I guess we do that. Let's go ahead and show off the bank spell while we're here, because why not? There you go, and that does, that does moderate damage, not bad. Uh, there's a snooze spell. Uh, thankfully didn't affect, uh, okay. I was gonna say, thankfully didn't affect Genghis, um, and, uh, and the hero, but, uh, Angelo, that could be a problem. Let's see. Oh, we get woken up, too. That's nice. Alright, so there you go. Awesome. And hero, throw your boomerang. Let's see. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. And, yeah, so they didn't show off the booty attack. Oh, it makes me sad. Alright, do that, do that. You will do that. You will do that. Okay. And now oh, that'll kill him. Come on, give us a booty. Give us a booty. No. Oh, you're dead. Oh, well. And dead. Okay, cool. Hopefully we uh, get a, a bat, a wing of bat. Will we get it? Uh, nope, sadly not. Oh, well. All right, let me go ahead and heal up Jessica because, like I say, a demon against her with a fully loaded dice roll is very bad. <laughs> we keep getting dice rolls when I don't expect them, so. All right, anyway, let's see. Think of way over here. This way. Am I going over yeah, I am. Okay, cool. And, um, over here, if I recall... Yeah, there it is. Awesome. Now, in this chest, if you didn't get a shield drop, uh, the Templar shield drop from the, uh, from, um, the Slime Knight, you can get one over here. So don't worry about trying to, uh, to get another, you know, like, a Slime Drop, because you get one here. I mean, you know, they're not used for anything special, just, you know, better defense. And they, um, also provide that little boost for the uh, for the status stuff. 
So anyway, let's make it over here. And Hero got put to sleep, sadly. So what you gonna do about that, eh? Uh, let's see, do that. And like I said, Jessica really needs to keep her HP up. Because of the demons. So yeah. Alright, let's make our way up here now. And we should be getting to the top of this at some point. Let's look at our map here. Uh, yeah, it's nothing too special. But anyway, let's uh, come on up here. Let's see. I know. It's, uh, it's already nighttime here. Let's look at this real fast. Uh, yeah, sadly, you cannot warp back here. And uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to uh, be calling it an episode here, guys. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go back all the way back down uh, to the church, save up, and make my way all the way back up here. Uh, you get a little bit of experience and uh, some, you know, more gold out of it. So, anyway, guys, let's uh, we're going to check out this place in the next episode, and hopefully we can maybe get our wish granted. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. You have an awesome day. I hope you take care, and there's not much up here.